Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... The fabled mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. The missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then I used my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to fix... Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day, too, if Amira was my only friend.
whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unbreachable switch. The mirror called out to me. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Put my mouth wash.
with a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. My arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like... Why did you set the dragon free, even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home, but only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. 
He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Thinking of a problem in a different way, and finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I'd seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most.
I could have sworn the Parade of Hopeful Nights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Shame. The only tool left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. There was no reason to chop down that perfectly good tree. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Oh! Or a... Oh! oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you... I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh. 
such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridges out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament! What? What happened to the rest of my tools? My wheel mending kit was in that toolbox. You expect me to fix this wheel with only a hatchet? Hatchets are for destroying, not for fixing. What kind of game are you playing here, boy? Oh, I know. Maybe I could use this blade to chisel a wheel out of driftwood. Or perhaps I could cut down a rubber tree plant and weave myself a wheel. You are not going to last three seconds in that tournament with that kind of stupid dream logic. Tell you what, you can keep my hatchet, but please bring me a real solution. You know, like a wheel, big, round, rolling, a wheel that goes here, like those. Seems like a waste of money. Seems like a waste of money. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. <sighs> Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! Seems like a waste of money. Oh, here we go. No! I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. Oh, here we go. No! I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. Square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? bakery and it smelled that sign was asking for tips and there was a metal pan to collect coins delectable goods look tasty but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach
Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. Aha! Something big and round. Hopefully no one would mind if I borrowed this tabletop. Against the knickknacks was a little collection tray with a sign asking for tips. Shortcut. Do I really have to hear the story about how you? Took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. What a clever choice! Such craftsmanship and sturdy, too. Just hope you didn't pay too much. I'd hate for you to have spent all your money when you've only just arrived in town, right? You ready, Mr. Fancy Cakes? <laughs> I know, darling, I know. Silly question. You were born ready. Oh, wait! Before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? No, thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. The price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. Well, what is the actual price? Well, what do you know? It costs exactly that much. Thank you. Fortuitous fate meeting you, my boy. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Howdy. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk, especially when your pockets are full of riches.